hello and welcome again to another video of testing the tesla so last time i did a software update 39.7 test which was a uh, unofficial release now we have the 42.2 release and let's see if it still acts the same way or whether or not we already have some minor improvements so let's go Here we coming up at the first section, which is the uh, hill part. And uh, last time in 39.7, it veered off to the right at the uh, second uh, arrow here. Let's see. No, it's not doing that. So that's good. Let's see what it does at the top of the hill. It should go that straight, uh, which it has been doing for uh, a few updates already. But let's see. Yep, that's uh, just perfect. Let's see at the bottom here where the line disappears. No, an ever so slight jiggle of the of the steering wheel, but uh, it's not fearing, of course. So uh, that's good. Let's test the hilltop here again. Yep that straight as anticipated so yep that's good so here we have that intersection where the lines left and right disappear for a little bit should go that straight again as well yep not even a movement of the steering wheel and what I really like about uh, the new version 9 as well is that uh, line markings are treated individually um, so I mean that um, when when the line on the left right converges for example from a, a, a lane split uh, back to one line or back to one lane then it's only the left line that you see changing and the right line just goes straight on whereas with uh, version 8 of uh, the software you would see the entire lane shifting left to right uh, and that caused some confusion um, as a driver to see like what the hell is going on but also for the car apparently oh it noticed that car crossing that's also good and that was quite a distance away um, but it did notice that and it did break for that so that's uh, that's really good but that was as I was saying um, so it, it caused a little bit of confusion for the system as well apparently and then it started going trying to fit within that lane um, of course what we see on the dash is only uh, an indication of what the car is seeing and an interpretation of what the car is seeing it is not exactly that what the car is reacting to um, so that's something to keep in mind this is the scary part the s-curve so with the uh, Model X I tested uh, uh, version 9 on the uh, unofficial release it basically nailed this S-curve so I'm expecting the same but uh, you never know with each release this is uh, something different so let's hope we can clear this S-curve without intervention yeah it is slowing down it's a little bit to the outside again this one is better yeah this is well within the lanes uh, but on the the other corner like here it's going a little bit too far to the center lane uh, but it's it's a lot better than uh, 36.2 um, so yeah still need some improvement on that and as I've said many times during my daily driving I never do that part on autopilot uh, it's just not uh, not comfortable enough doing that section um, so yeah uh, keep in mind autopilot on local roads it's still a bonus and I am testing the limits of the system here so uh, be careful uh, when using autopilot on these kind of roads so here we have an ideal situation for the uh, overtaking so 
let's go for it. It takes uh, like a second or something before it starts overtaking, but as usual, when you drive a set speed, then it accelerates as soon as you start overtaking. It's only when you come up to a slower vehicle that uh, it keeps slowing down, or it kept slowing down. So let's see if we can uh, try that here. As soon as it starts to slow down, I'm going to uh, see if we can change lanes. Yeah, there's a car coming, so I have to wait for that. I will initiate as soon as the car is here. So there we go, get the red line, so that's okay. And then it starts accelerating gradually. Uh, but it maybe it adjusted to the car in front of me, which is not going the full speed as well. Uh, but yeah, that was not too bad. So it uh, sees the car next to you, coming from behind you, using the cameras. And then it waits until the path is clear. So that's, uh, even though it's not accelerating enough, uh, with the lane change it's already a lot safer because it detects oncoming cars as well now oh yeah and i forgot to mention we still have the lane shift on secondary roads which uh, version 8 was not able to do and also something that i noticed but i need to test that uh, further is that the car is better at detecting stopped cars at traffic lights I haven't really tested it uh, at higher speeds, like 90 kilometers an hour, uh, which we do have some roads with traffic lights that have that speed limit on them. Um, it usually fails there, uh, or I don't have the nerve to wait for the emergency braking, because that, that's exactly what it feels like if you, would let, if you would let the car handle that. It would be kind of like emergency braking, and that could not be uh, the intention and that's not going to be comfortable once we move to full self-drive where you basically would be able to sit in the back and have no control whatsoever so you wouldn't be able to take over uh, to feel comfortable also something that I would like to see like here for example that uh, truck wanted to move into my lane um, I think the system should be able to detect the blinkers and uh, detect the fact that another car is coming into your lane and adjust your speed to allow that car to enter instead of just following the car in front of you and maybe blocking that uh, car's maneuver. But yeah, maybe that will come in a future update. So here we have the uh, lane shift where it failed miserably with the previous uh, update. Let's see. Oh, it's braking a little bit for the car there. Nope it's not feeling comfortable enough to do that. So that is still um, a point where uh, it needs some improvement. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that's a regression bug, but that's the way it goes. I mean, the AI, which is trained by the images that are sent through the fleet, right, that generates uh, algorithms for the neural net. And then that neural net will uh, actually uh, be sent down to the cars and the cars will behave based on that. So when a new algorithm is created to solve one thing, it might uh, break another one uh, or it might need additional training to change that algorithm. So maybe in the next update that will work again as well. But for now, um, 36.2 did that uh, just fine and I really trusted it there. But uh, yeah, 42.2, uh, uh, definitely not, do not try it uh, in that situation because it's just dangerous. All right, time for another conclusion. So what do I think of uh, update 42.2? Um, I think it's a, a really good update. I'm glad that now we get the uh, official one. I like the way that the cars are displayed on the dash and it has um, better awareness of, of its surroundings. So uh, yeah, I like that uh, a lot. There's still some work to do because like for example, if you pass a truck, it usually splits in two and then you get two trucks uh, all of a sudden. 
so yeah that that needs some work but it already is more confidence inspiring to know what the car actually uh, detects by seeing that on the dash the fact that it flickers and the truck splitting and such that uh, yeah that can be a little bit distracting for the moment but I'm sure in the next update that will be a lot better already and it will continue to improve of course um, as for driving um, well you saw that uh, compared to the 39.7 version it fixed the little thing before the hill uh, and uh, yeah for, for, for the rest it's, uh, it is more or less the same I do get the impression and I didn't test that with uh, 39.7 but with this one the 42.2 I do get the impression that the car is better at detecting uh, stopped cars in front of traffic lights and it brakes more gradual instead of uh, doing hard braking uh, on the, at the last moment the same for when a car uh, you're driving along and a car cuts in then it's not slamming on the brakes it's more gradually taking its distance um, so yeah I like that a lot as well um, I do have high hopes for the uh, drive on uh, autopilot or drive on navigation or navigate on autopilot I can't remember the correct name uh, at the moment but uh, yeah we'll have to wait for that uh, we don't even get it without the unconfirmed lane change uh, at the moment in Europe hopefully that will come soon and uh, yeah uh, that will be great and once we get the unconfirmed lane change as well and it will also automatically go to the right again once you pass the car that will be a total game changer so I'm really looking forward to uh, the next couple of updates that we're getting towards the end of the year um, yeah exciting times as always if you uh, like my videos please like them and subscribe to the channel using this button here and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye